The Department of Education or DepEd is a government agency program that formulates, implements, and coordinates policies, plans, programs, and projects in the areas of formal and non-formal basic education. It supervises all elementary and secondary education institutions, including alternative learning systems, both public and private, and provides for the establishment and maintenance of a complete, adequate, and integrated system of basic education relevant to the goals of national development. Today, we are going to interview teachers who are under the DEPED program about the information gathered and shared in the Department of Education. Juicy May L. Ligad, a junior high school teacher one with nine months of experience under the DepEd program. What kind of information is gathered and shared by the organization? When it comes to my subject, I teach English. So um, we base our lessons on the most essential learning competencies. So we have a curriculum guide for that. And we base our lessons there. And aside from that, um, our school head, which is Sir Romeo Itipar, he, he is also um, delivering us the announcement from the national um, department, which is the Department of Education. They create a memorandum. And yeah, and he's the one who delivered that to us. What is the significance of this information to you as an individual? So, as a teacher, we have to follow what are in the DepEd memorandum. So, through that, through that DepEd memorandum, we were able to, um, you know, follow certain um, information. Yes. What types of information are gathered by the organization? The type of information, um, mostly are academic, mostly are academic related, since we are the educational department. Which information providers aid the organization in the gathering data? One um, organization is the Department of Education. So the Department of Education would post um, that ed memorandum and we would follow that one, which is to be given to us by our first will be posted first and will be delivered to our school head. And the school head will uh, inform us you know, make sure that we can follow that DepEd Memorandum. M.A. Liego in 2016 defined DepEd Memorandum as announcements that contain specific guidelines and facts that are only valid for the year in which they were made and are therefore transient in nature. These contain information about gatherings, seminars, tests, polls, competitions, and holidays. Juvilisa by Lon Ramos or Mom Ramos is a pioneering senior high school teacher three with 15 years of experience under the DepEd program. What kind of information is gathered and shared by the school? Um, for today's academic year, we, we adopted the, the blended learning. It means for the past three days, the students are um, having their on-site campus classes and, and the remaining two days would be the off-campus class. During off-campus, we deliver our um, lesson through, it depends on the teacher, either they will send out modules to their students or they will have their online class. For me, as a STEM teacher, I usually have my, my class um, in a form of um, what we call this one, um, online delivery, like Google Classroom, meeting them through Google Classroom, and then having their assessment also through Google Forms. So that is how I deliver my class, my last class. What is the significance of this information to you as a teacher? Delivering my last one through a online mode is very significant, especially nowadays. We are still in pandemic and um, we all know that students are still um, prohibited from coming to, to go to school. Um, it is very important for us uh, since we have this milk na kinahanglanan na i-deliver. Milks, meron tayong milks na sinusunod. 
Ang mga schools na under the DepEd, meron siyang tinatawag na MELS, learning competencies, mga modified enhanced learning competencies, kung saan the lessons are anchored there in the MELS. Now, um, it is very significant on the part of teachers kasi the, the lesson should be anchored to that mix. To deliver it, kailangan makuha talaga ng teacher yung um, learning competencies na kailangan niyang i-develop, i-enhance sa kanyang mga students. So that is why it is very significant to use such um, media and information um, what do you call this one? Um, technique. Okay? Mga technique uh, to enhance delivery, to, enha to enhance their capacity, uh, to enhance also the learning sa mga students. And these learnings is always anchored to the very basic of MELS. Which information providers aid the organization in gathering data? To gather data from our students and to gather learnings from our students, we adopted several um, information techniques. For the DepEd, we have DepEd Commons, okay. we have also Kotobi. Um, teachers should be well adapted in learning such a technique, yeah, information technique. We have also um, online online applications. Um, but, but the very common that we usually adopt is the DepEd Commons. Okay. Doon sa DepEd Commons, um, meron doon silang mga ano, meron silang doon ina-upload ng mga videos, okay? At least in relation to your topic. Another one we have also, during pandemic, um, it is the program of the DepEd, yung e to lie okay? The e to lie is a video actually anchored to the mix. Para talaga siyang nasa classroom lang sa e to lie pero naka-virtual lang siya, okay? So e to lie they have um, they have this e to lie videos from kinder up to the ano up to senior high school. So um, nowadays uh, kasi ano man ngayon uh, hindi talaga masyadong ginagamit yung mga DepEd Commons sa kayong photo B but the teachers here in senior high school um, usually use the e to lie videos. According to R. Bayod and C. Bayod in 2020, the K-12 curriculum is streamlined by the BELCP into MELCs, which must be provided through a variety of platforms and learning modalities. All around the country, field implementers like teachers and learning facilitators will employ these set of competencies. These most essential learning competencies concentrate on what students need to know in order to learn. DepEd also emphasized that the release of the MELCs is part of the department's long-term response to developing resilient systems, particularly during emergencies. This is in addition to the department's immediate response to the current pandemic. As a result, these might be utilized in specific situations as a method to maintain educational continuity through curriculum dimension.